hello you're welcome to my channel i am sosa's mama um i just took out my matuta so there goes a beautiful hair day i don't want to say a bad hair day but uh it's all good i just um look at my hair and I'm gonna fix it when I'm done with this video since my son is napping I thought this would be a good time to make a quick video for you also here it goes and again my name is Sosa's mama I am Sosa's mama you're welcome to my channel if you're new here please do it to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much for sticking with me and guys I could use your um, support your encouragement please subscribe to my channel um, hit the like button and be sure to hit the notification button so you'll be the first to be notified when I post a new video and on this channel I film about my faith with the hopes of encouraging you to start yours as well and sometimes I film about my family just sharing my um, very intimate life with you so welcome and today um, I want to um, start off with a question actually how do you handle yourself when your reality does not match your expectation you know what do you do so um because of a situation I, uh, that happened recently there was a video i posted about starting a new christmas tradition and if you haven't seen it just um look up on the li link on the left side and be sure to just watch me and my family goofing around on um on christmas day and just us trying to start our own new tradition so anyways uh last year christmas i think it was christmas um boxing day now but we we went to dinner just to have dinner with my family we went to this new uh, restaurant and my daughter is a self-acclaimed uh, sushi lover because all the sushi that she's really ever had is sushi from shop right and if you know shop right their sushi is not exactly sushi <laughs> i'm not a sushi person but anyway so because of how we went to this restaurant just for her to try the actual um sushi so she gets there she we went with her friend she gets there they both ordered for sushi and um, we're just there looking at her so when the sushi came trust a fancy restaurant there was this tiny little thing on um, on the wooden i mean the presentation was really beautiful though it was nice but the look on my daughter's face and the look on her friend's face was priceless. You know, they had this whole thing about sushi, especially my daughter, she's a sushi lover, she loves sushi. And then she's looking at the real thing in front of her, raw fish and the, um what they call the sauce, wasabi. She's looking at all of this, she's like, uh, I could tell by the expression on her face that she was shocked. It wasn't what she expected. And before that, we, had already, we always told her, the shop, your shop rice sushi is not the real sushi, you know. Shop rice is just kind of um, cooked rice, then with a little bit of um, avocado and um, whatever. I think seaweed they used to wrap it around something, but it's still cooked. But this one is like completely raw. So, but guess the one that kind of really <laughs> shocked me the most was she went ahead and ate it. She didn't look at it like, oh, what that, what she get herself. So, even though the expression on her face was saying a whole lot of things her friend couldn't eat his own he was just like i mean he gave his to my daughter and she just shoved it down and then we just started laughing so that kind of just got me thinking even though that's just a sushi experience even though we laughed about it but it got me thinking about what we do in our own situations where we have this expectation of what life should be or what how things should be then um when we get what we, we desire what we're looking for the reality hits us that wow it's not what we thought it would be i know for me the few experiences that i have was coming to america i had this whole picture about america the beautiful streets and all of that and i came into this country and i was like i remember asking <laughs> my niece because i landed in jfk i was asking my niece this is it like i was so disappointed but I was already here to make the most of it. I said that was not enough. Fast forward, um, going through school and all of that. And here I was working so hard and doing school, a single mother, just running through my life and all of that. And I had this picture of, oh, once I get my bachelor's degree, I'm gonna get a good job and my financial situation is gonna change. Everything is gonna just work out fine. Girlfriend, I got my bachelor's and I was like, okay. 
Ah, uh, why is that? Why is my bank account still looking like it's the same? Or why is there no why are there no changes happening? You know, like I had this huge expectation, but guess what? I did not let that weigh me down. I did not let that discourage me. I had to find a way. Like, okay, Lord, what are you trying to teach me here? And in that moment, this Bible passage that I like to call my foundational Bible passage is in Proverbs three five and um, five and six. You know, like I just always heard that in my spirit. Like, trust in the. I mean, do not lean on your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge Him. And I, and I, and that always kind of reminds me that you can't be leaning on your own understanding. You can't be leaning on what you think you know. Or you might be putting all the work. You might think you know whatever you're doing. You cannot lean on all of that. But you have to trust God. So that's that with the um, going through school and just how I've seen how the reality of just life hitting me in those different situations. I had to, like my daughter, <laughs> I had to find a way to um, find something good out of all of those situations. You know, like, I mean, I'm still a work in progress. If you follow me on this channel, you know, that's my thing. Like, I'm still a work in progress. I am just... Want that person that is trusting my own process and just enjoying my journey, you know. So, like, I had to find a way to, like, you know what, I'm not gonna let this affect my attitude, I'm not gonna let this change the way I view life or the way I work with God. I'm just gonna keep going and keep trusting Him as He's asking me to in His in Proverbs 3 5 and 6. I'm gonna just keep trusting Him and relying on His own directions and just coming to that point of knowing to do that has really helped me a lot in my work and just where I handle life situations. And also another thing is even in marriage, in marriage, we have this expectation and then when you get into the marriage proper, it's like, oh, what was I thinking? So you're coming into a marriage. If you don't know yourself, if you don't first of all, love yourself, you're going to have a problem, you know? So my reality versus expectation or vice versa and just how i handle um all of that god's word to me in proverbs 3 um 5 and 6 and just trusting and allowing him direct my every step because once you rely on god and you let him direct your every step you're not going to be surprised by anything that hits you in life instead you have a change of attitude you know how to better handle your life so just trusting in god and knowing that once you have your hope on on him it's easier to go through life and just enjoy your journey as you go along. And I would love to hear how you handle your situation. When your expectation does not match your reality, how do you deal with that? How do you handle that? So I would, I would love to hear from you and I'm sure that people would love to hear from you as well. So have a great one and God bless you.